was good in Pearson with Tommy, pretty chill. Food was good, they had chicken parm, which is never a bad thing. Um, then we went to one of the, well, one of our favorite study spaces on campus, the Sci Center. Great place to grind out some CSP sets. And now I'm in Lindsley Chittenden Hall to uh, talk about some video stuff with Henderson and uh, do a little work towards another one of the clubs we're working on. And the question is, do you then, do you dedicate a whole season to that? Or whole a Josh Be Beasley blog. I haven't. This is there's a first time for everything. Uh, world. I want to. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's not going to. <laughs> <laughs> you should release like an kid friendly. Rated R. Rated R. That's never happening. All right, so we're here in the students for carbon dividends. Uh, team team Delta Delta Force. Meeting? Delta Force Lap Division. <laughs> I think is our awesome name. Totally not a mouthful. Um, and we're working on making a funny web series about how carbon emissions affect human beings. Uh, it's an existential crisis to the very core. Kyle can tell you first thing. Yeah, it's really just, just lost it. not something you want to. <laughs> <laughs> really not something issue. you really a big issue. A big in issue. Society, you know, <laughs> we have to address. So we're just here trying to shed light on human problems. You know. Um, we want more people to know about what we're doing. Good do. work. We're doing the Lord's work. There's this non-denominational vlog. Carbon is non-denominational. Carbon, carbon doesn't care what you're doing. <laughs> carbon exceeds all religion. <laughs> it's for everyone and anyone. <laughs> carbon is absolute. So yeah. You know we're doing good work with S4CD and uh, I'm excited to continue working with them. I'm back in the good old elevator now. I have about 30 minutes before I gotta head over to club baseball practice. But until then, I'm probably going to try to set up my GCAL to take care of some more administrative stuff now that I finally have my laptop back. Well, let's go. Had a pretty good practice. I'm headed back to TD now to get a couple of hours of work in before, before the night starts, because it is a Friday night tonight, so we'll see what happens, but it should be a good time. Oh wait, that right there? Oh, just behind the tree. That right there is SSS Sterling Strathagonia something hall. Um, I have a great view from it, from my window. I filmed a lot of videos right behind there in the courtyard, so good spot. Um, all right, I'll see you guys in there. All right, so I am back in my room now, working. Um, it's going pretty well so far. Just this tripod is not even straight. So basically, I am working on CS right now. I'm currently taking a CS class that's titled Data Structures and Programming Techniques. It's taught in C, which I have done a little bit of work in before, but compared to Python or Java, one of the higher level languages, it's kind of annoying having to do all the memory allocation and all that stuff that just gets annoying very fast. All right, so I just figured out something pretty cool. Um, basically, to submit all your P-sets at Yale when it comes to computer science, there's a collection of like 20-something computers on a floor in Watson Hall, and it's it's called the zoo because each, each computer has a different name and it corresponds to an animal. But basically, um, to submit your P-sets, you on your computer you SSH and remotely connect to one of the one of the animals in the zoo, and then you load your you load your files on the computer, and then that's how it's submitted and graded for the department. But the problem is with Sublime, I have to physically edit edit all my code, save the file, and then as physically SSH and then SCP my my files over to the to the zoo. But now I figured out a way to link up my Sublime account to the zoo, and uh, I just commented here to make sure it worked. That's pretty cool now. I can actually, you know, I can all I have to do now is log SSH into the zoo, touch a file, and then I can see it in Sublime and edit it and do whatever I want. And as soon as I save it, it's saved on the zoo. So that makes my life a lot easier. Uh, that was a lot of tech talk, so for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm done with that now. Anyways, I'm uh, probably going to work for a little bit longer, and then uh, it's Friday night, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm either going to I'm gonna put my hand over the camera and say like, comment, subscribe, and either you're going to get some cool clips of what happened tonight, or it's just going to cut to credits because I forgot to film. So with that, I'll see you guys. <laughs> I promise you.
some content. So I'm out here with my boy, my boy Henderson Heiser. How are you doing, Hendy? Doing well, just ready to sling some tent tonight. You know, a huge, huge showing for the boys. Some tent? Slinging tent big time, yeah. That's, how, that's all we do out here. What we call it in the biz. I mean, as long as I'm with Josh Beasley, it's a good night. What more can I ask for? Still in that philosophy grind. Uh, if anyone has some big questions, feel free to send them my way because we're here to answer those. That's what we do. How's hey, 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 you love her? How you doing, Zach? I'm doing well. This is your first appearance in the show. My name's Muhammad. Wait, wait. Am I sexy enough for this? I don't know. Yeah, I am. You're, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Um, we're talking to the general vlog. So to the vlog. Yeah, to the vlog. You know, what I would say is like, keep living life. Um, you make your own magic. You make so make your own magic. That is very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Macho, do you want to make an appearance? I know Josh through Camp Kesem. Camp Kesem. It's honestly one of the most amazing experiences ever. So if you end up here, hey. Camp Honestly, Camp Kessler has been one of the things that has defined my time at Yale.